Hey guys, it's Spicy, and I'm back with some more five head content. And today I'm gonna bring you guys one way smoke spots for Omen. Now the biggest difference between Omen and Cypher is that you know, you have a lot more control over your one way smokes with Cypher compared to Omen. With Omen, you can't trigger your smoke when you need it, so you need some more intel. Um, as soon as you anticipate it, whether it's through your mini map with question marks or a teammate calls it out, uh, that's when you want to deploy these smokes. And remember that the smokes are going to be up for 12 and a half seconds after which they'll go down. So before I start, I just want to let you guys know how this video is going to work. It's going to be different than Cypher Cage spots where I stand somewhere and I tell you where to look. A lot easier with Omen because you just have to put the green arrow on the spot that I tell you to put it on. First smoke spot, a short A on buy. For this smoke spot, you want to put your arrow on the right edge of the box and make sure it's up. If you look down, then it's going to be on this and it's not going to work. Make sure you're looking up and you just Shadows do this traveling. and right here right out of spa you're gonna have your first one-way smoke so this one you can do right as the round starts now when i did that i was standing really close to the crate you don't have to stand close to the crate you can stand as far as you want i just did that to make sure you know exactly where the arrow should go how does it look from the opponent's point of view let's down. see he's gonna come he's gonna peek this and for him to see you he has to peek this and crouch and by the time he sees the smoke You've already seen him. So this spot that I just showed you works two ways. Now maybe if you get a sense that the enemy is pushed in and they're standing in this area, uh, you could still make the smoke spot work. So let's just say you're standing here. You have to just put it on the edge of the box, right? So roughly like this, see it's the arrows on the edge. I drop this down and the smoke drops and now you have another one way smoke right over here, right? So as they get, get into that cubby. Now, how does that look from the opponent's point of view? There it is. Going out. This is so they're usually going to be over here, so they're not even going to be aware of you setting up there. The only way they see you is if they peek and they do this. And by the time they do this, you already see them move move into this location and crouch. So you're already shooting at them. So you have the clear cut advantage again in this situation as well. Next spot, long A, showers. So what you want to do for this, the key thing is you want it to land right below this panel, somewhere along this cloth. That's where you want the arrow to be. So you can set this up right before the round starts, but you have to wait till the round starts to actually like release the shadow. I stand here and I look right over here on the cloth. And I just play around with it until I get it. See right there, that's, that's, that's perfect. And this is what you get. See that peak boys? How does it look from the opponent's point of view? They don't see anything, right? They don't see anything. Again, guys, the key is to get it on that cloth. So how do I do that? I set up right over here before the round starts. I look right on the cloth and then I go do this until the arrow is right here. Cover going I let out. it go. I back up and there's the peak, right? And as I said, they don't see anything. So that's the second spot on long A. So now let's look at the third spot. So in this situation, you know the opponents have taken control of the showers and it's only a matter of time before they start peeking that doorway. So in that situation, what you wanna do is again, you wanna anticipate that they're in there and you know, you're set up right over here. Put your shadow on these crates close to the edge on their side as possible. You want it to be on that edge. You can, st you can stand right here and do it. Again, you're looking up. And what I usually do is like right before the arrow drops, I put it right there. So. See how this arrow drops right here? So I back it up a bit and then that's the perfect spot. And you want it to be close to the right edge as well. Shadows so like this. You get this, it drops, and there you have it boys. Check it out. Get that whole peak. Right? There's a lot of room for error in all, all of these, so it really makes Omen great. Shadows how does it look from their point of view? This is how it looks. When they turn this corner, they're worried about so many things that they're going to ignore all this. And you're standing all the way back there. There's no way they see. You. And you're already like, you've already melted through them by the time they peek this corner. All right, guys, this next spot is also on bind, but this is if you're attacking long A. So the biggest problematic spot that you have when you're turning this corner is uh, that heaven spot right over there and anyone who's behind those boxes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take those spots out. So you're going to kind of use your mini map for this. Um, you can do this from anywhere. The goal is to get the smoke on the right edge of this crate. So you're pressing right click around here 
and you're right clicking until uh, the smoke gets to the crate so until it gets to the boxes and and make sure you're looking up so your arrow gets on the highest level of the boxes and you don't you want it to get on top of the second box not the first box and then as soon as you see that arrow elevate that's where you want to throw your smoke going out. so you let it go and you're going to see that this thing's going to land and it's going to block off heaven and it's going to give you a one-way smoke right over here you're just making sure you're looking high enough so that the arrow is going to be on the second box and you're using your mini map as a reference as soon as you see that arrow elevate that's where you release the smoke all right boys next spot bind it's going to be for b we're going to try to get them as you're approaching this choke at a spa so when you're when you're doing the smoke you want to wait at least five seconds after the round starts or maybe three or four seconds you want to delay your smoke a bit you want to give the other team a little time to push up to this choke if you do it too soon they're going to be a little weary of pushing up so you want to delay the smoke just a bit but what you're going to do is before the round starts just align yourself with this edge back up till you hit the wall look down right now and you're going to press right click until that shadow circle gets to this far right so i'm approximately in line with the end of this choke and i'm still looking at the edge and then when it gets to the end you're going to look up right and once you're looking up now you're going to go to the right side as much as possible until that curved arrow goes it goes to its highest peak so i'm going right i'm going right and it gets to its highest peak over here so i'm going to stop and i'm going to let this go so again if this, so i'm going to do this before the round starts and let's just say the round started now i'm going to wait three to four seconds and then i'm going to do a delayed smoke Shadows traveling. then i'm going to set up here and i have this one-way smoke right over here and you know you want to try to get people as they ap approach this choke how does it look from the opponent's point of view they don't see anything unless they're here and by that time you pretty much killed them right so perfect smoke to do this is going to be if you're anticipating an enemy push from the long b side all right so what you're going to do for this is get in this corner and again this is going to be another delayed smoke you want to wait till the round starts wait a couple seconds look roughly right over here and then you're going to leave your shadow until it hits this thing right here until it gets on this pillar then you're going to look down just a bit you see as i look down it comes up like this Cover let it go down. And there you go, boys. There's the one-way spot. Again, the key is to make sure that when you're doing it, you're looking roughly at this second, at this second line, right? And then as soon as it gets up on this uh, pillar, you're looking down. And as you look down, the arrow goes up. Shadows traveling. And then there's the one-way peak there. Here's how it looks from the opponent's point of view, right? They're gonna peek this. Unless they crouch, they're gonna see you. But by the time they do that you've already shot them down now let's assume you you're expecting a peek from uh this doorway right here and, all right for this next spot you're gonna get in line with this edge and you're gonna back up and you're gonna get the arrow on the farthest edge that you can like that Shadows traveling. drops down and you see the entrance to this choke right over here see that close see that's the entrance right there you're gonna get the slight movement that happens over here how does it look from the opponent's point of view Shadows there it is they're not gonna see anything all right guys now we're on haven on point a let's assume the opponent is pushing short a and they're going to rush the stairs and try to plant the bomb so you're going to try to put it in that corner so here it is standing right here i'm gonna go high on this on my side Cover going out. it's gonna drop it's gonna give me that one-way peak there it is so i get people as they're turning around those crates right now why do i tell you to put the arrow on your side and I simply tell you that because you want you want this to be a more welcoming entrance, right? You want to bait the enemy into making this entry. Now, if you put it on your side, this looks very open. This looks like something that they can push because they feel like they're protected by this smoke so they can try to get into this corner. That's what you want to force them to do. Now, if you put this smoke all the way here on their side, this doesn't look very welcoming. Right, this is like, okay, now this is a little too crowded. They might not push this. You want to bait the enemy into pushing that smoke. So, and as they push that smoke, you get that one-way peak and you get the easy picks, right? Second spot, same situation, but they're pushing long game. So they're going to go up this ramp. Your positioning in this scenario is going to be somewhere in this cubby right over here. This is the ideal spot. Again, you, you anticipate that they're pushing long game. They're going to push it hard. What you're going to do is, uh, again, you're, you're going to try to get it in that corner right there that's where the arrow should be i look up so let's go roughly right over here Shadows traveling. you crouch and 
There it is, right? All that. How does it look from the enemy's point of view? Cover going out. They're here. They're going to rush this ramp. They're going to try to go here. And by the time they come here, they don't see anything. And you already melted them because you're standing right over there. All right, guys. Now we're on Haven on point B. We're going to get a one-way spot for this window just as people are peeking. So one of the things to understand is that you can actually place your arrow before the round even starts. Like, you know how there's usually a wall here? I can actually, before the round starts, place my arrow somewhere I want behind the wall. And then as soon as the round starts, I just left click and I let the smoke go. So that's what you're going to have to do for this smoke spot. You're going to have to set it up fully before the round starts. And as soon as the round starts, you're going to have to left click and get out, right? Because there's going to be people that are going to peek. You're going to stand somewhere around here. You want to look right over here. That's the spot. You just got to kind of get a feel for it eventually when you do it. You're going to look right here and you're going to just do this before the round starts. And then as soon as the arrow is on your cursor, see that? The arrow is on my cursor right now. That's the spot that you're going to, you know, left click on. As soon as the round starts, I'm going to left click and get out the way. Uh, but here's the one-way smoke, right? So now you re-peek it with the one-way smoke there. So again, you're standing somewhere here. You're looking right over here. You're doing this. As soon as the arrow is on your crosshair, like that, you're going to let it go. Shadows traveling. You get that. Now let's see how it looks from the opponent's point of view. There it is, boys. So next situation, you're attacking point B. And you cleared this area, but you don't know what's on the left side. The hardest point is like when person is peeking from here, right? So we're going to take care of that. So before you peek, what you're going to do is you're going to put a smoke on this box right over here. Like this. You're going to put the arrow on the box, right? Let it go. And then you're gonna let the smoke settle before you peek. And you get this. All right, so if that person is in the corner, he's completely blocked off. That's now uncontested. That really helps you cover that corner. And then you can do the same thing for the right side. Usually there's a person here. Before you peek that, put a smoke right over here on that silver box. And you peek it. And now then you get a one-way smoke there as well. So this this is a good way to cover both sides because this is a very problematic point to attack in the first place. And you can cover yourself like that. All right, guys. Next spot is going to be on point C. And it's going to be if you're guarding this platform. Uh, what you want to do, you want to put your smoke, you want to put your green arrow on this uh, trumpet-like thing right here. So uh, as, you, as you get a sense that the enemy team is pushing in on the point, you're going to do this. And you're going to try to just get it on there and... What you're going to do is just stand somewhere here and you're going to put it right there. It, it's not going to be right on the trumpet, but just right below it. Shadows traveling. And you get that, right? So what does the enemy see? Well, if they're here, they don't see anything. By the time they make it here, you're already seeing them. For them to see you, they have to fully come in like this. By that time, they're already dead. All right, guys, next spot, long C. What we're going to try to do, this is going to be an attacking one-way smoke. And we're going to try to get rid of that sniping spot right there. So the key thing to notice is we're going to try to get the smoke on the boxes. So we're going to use our mini map for that. Uh, what you're going to do first though, get in this corner, line up with this window, and then look down sort of right here. Um, you just do that so you can see where your arrow is going. And you're going to look at your mini map. You're going to get the smoke all the way to those boxes that I just mentioned. And you want to make sure that the smoke is on the left side of those crates. So like this. It's going look at my mini map now once that arrow gets onto the boxes you're gonna see the arrow elevate and at that point you're gonna just stop and you're gonna let it go right there so watch this look at my arrow now it's gonna elevate in just a bit see it elevated that's the spot that i want Cover going so up. i let it go obviously in a game you wait for the smoke to settle but there it is right you took out that sniping spot and if that guy peeks it's a one-way smoke so the next one-way spot is for C and if you're defending the left side. So again, you, you sense that the enemy is pushing this choke and this time you're positioning yourself somewhere over here. What you want to do is you want to get this smoke on the green crate. So that's pretty easy to do. You're going to do this and you're going to look up and you're going to get it somewhere over there. Shadows and let it go. And there it is. There's the other one way spot, right? How does it look from the opponent's point of view? They don't see anything. This next spot is on C as well, and we're going to one-way smoke that entrance of the garage. So what you want to do in this situation is put your arrow on this ledge on the left side. So somewhere here, as soon as you see the arrow elevate like this, you let it go. 
and you get this one-way smoke right here right looks like this from the opponent's point of view they don't see anything Alright guys, this next pod is if you uh, maybe planted the bomb on B and you're trying to prevent it from being defused or even if you're guarding B and you suspect that someone's going to be coming from this left side. But in that situation, all you want to do is put the arrow on this ledge. So just do this, look up, and somewhere on this ledge is perfectly fine. It's going to give you a very good angle. See that? So all, everything from here. You can even come out and look at this whole area right over here. And if you back up even more, you can see all the way to the corner on the other side. So this is a very good spot. All right, guys, now we're on split on A. So this is going to be an attacking one-way smoke. And you're going to get rid of the left side peak on that ramp. So what you're going to do is get on this thing. And you're going to charge your green meter until it gets to S, right? So check it out. Now my green meter is at S. Now I'm going to look at this wall. And what I'm going to do is look at the fourth bar so one two three four i'm going to look at the bottom of it and here's what you do now you're going to move to the left until the arrow becomes green see now my arrow became green so one two three four i look at the bottom of the bar my green meter is charged till s and i look to the left until my arrow becomes green that's where you left click you do that right as the round starts and that's going to land right over here and it's going to give you a one-way peek as you peek as you go around that corner how does it look from the opponent's point of view? They don't see anything, right? Guys, this next spot is if you're defending A and you want to start trying to get these enemies right as they come across this corner. So what you're going to do is you can actually set this up pre-round. So you want to put your arrow right over here. So from here to here to here. So that's kind of the um, aiming reference that you want to use. Uh, you can stand here. And one of the things with this arrow is that it's actually going to be red. What you're going to do is you're going to just kind of get it around this area. And then you're just going to look down until that arrow is somewhere over here. And that's all. That's it. And you're going to let it go once the round starts. And you're going to get this. Piece. This is how it looks from the opponent's point of view. It's pretty good. Alright guys, this next spot is going to be on A on defense on split. And what we're going to do is create a one-way smoke for that area. Uh, I would wait maybe 3 to 4 seconds after the round starts. So what you're going to do for this, you're going to try to get it on that platform. So... I'm gonna stay here and we're gonna do this and we're gonna look a little behind it we're gonna look behind the white wall right so right as my right after my green arrow gets on the platform we're gonna look a little behind the wall Cover going out. and then you're gonna get this right there you get that one-way smoke right how does it look from the opponent's point of view again you're trying to place the green arrow right over here Cover going out. And from the opponent's point of view, they can't see anything. Unless they peek this, by which time they're fully committed and you've already seen them, right? So, alright guys, this spot is for if you're defending short A and you're defending mid. Uh, the goal is to pretty much get the arrow on that ledge over there. Um, and you want it to be right in the middle of the doorway. So I'm doing it from here and I try to get it on the ledge like this. See how it's on the ledge? The green arrow is in the middle of the doorway. I let it go. And you get this peak, boys. Check it out. So anyone who peeks this is pretty much going to be an easy pick. Anyone who peeks left side or right side is the easy pick. Here's how it looks from the opponent's point of view. So like I said, this is the dangerous part. But even this, for them to see you, they have to crouch. And any any spot over here, anything on this floor, that's a very easy pick for you with this one-way smoke spot. Alright guys, now we're on mid on split. So this one-way smoke spot is going to get people coming out of this spot. So you're going to set this up right before the round starts. And get into this corner so just to emphasize you're setting all this up before the round starts right you're setting this green arrow up onto this ledge before the round starts now once the round starts cover you press left out. click and you let go right and and you get into cover because you don't want to expose yourself too long when you re-peak you have this one-way smoke spot and guys this next spot is also for mid but what we're going to do is we're going to assume that the opponent is going to start pushing up the stairs and they're going to turn left this is easy to set up once you get the hang of it so what you're going to do is stand here and right click until the circle is in the middle of this uh, doorway. And then what you're going to do is just hug this wall to the right side. And then you're going to look up. Now, I looked up and I saw my green arrow on the ledge right away. For some of you, you might not, right? Because depending on where you are, if you don't see it, then just creep forward until you do. So let's say uh, I was over here and I look up and I don't see the green arrow. Then I just creep forward until I do see the green arrow. And the goal for this is that 
you want the least amount of shadow visible on your side of the wall. So you don't want this. That's a lot of shadow that's visible. You want this. So I move forward until there's the least amount of shadow visible. And then I left click. If you have too much shadow visible, this spot's not going to work. The, the orb is going to fall onto the ground. So you want to make sure that you have the least amount of shadow visible. Cover so I left click this and I get that. And now you have that one way smoke, right? And from the opponent's side of view, they don't see anything, right? All right, guys, this next spot is going to be for B and is going to one way smoke this doorway right over here. So you're gonna do this just as you're expecting your opponents to kind of push through that doorway. You're standing here, you're pressing right click until that green arrow is somewhere over here. You can see that it's not on the edge of the silver box, but somewhere behind it. And that's kind of where you want it for this spot to be effective. So you're putting it here and yet again, you have that spot right over here, right? How does it look from the opponent's point of view? As you would expect, they don't see anything. There it is, right? They don't see anything. And at this point, you're seeing them very clearly. All right, guys, this next spot is if you're attacking long B. A problematic area when you're attacking long B is that sniper spot behind this wooden structure. So we're going to eliminate that by turning it into a one-way smoke. And that sniper on the left side becomes completely useless. And you're going to make sure that you're looking up slightly. That way your arrow can elevate. And now you're going to right click until your smoke gets there. And as soon as the smoke gets on the platform, you're going to see your arrow elevate. So like this. See that? My arrow elevated from here to here. And that's what you're looking for. And as soon as you see that, you let it go. Shadows traveling. And what you're going to get is this. There it is. So it takes that spot out, but it also gives you a one way peek. So this works really well. It clears out that whole left side and now you can just focus on the right side. All right, guys, thanks for watching these five head one way smoke spots. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Make sure you give it a like if you liked it. Join the Discord. I'm giving away the five head roll right now. I'll see you guys next time. But make sure you follow the Twitch stream for more moments like this. Don't worry, boys. I have a five head play in my head right now. Last player.